Uh, so there's this this off duty pilot who was on an Alaska Airlines flight. Yeah. Yeah, they're going from Everett, Washington to San Francisco. He was sitting in the uh, jump seat because I guess yeah. pilots, when you go on a flight, you can just you, you get yeah. that seat, even if you're not the, yeah, the actual pilot flying that plane. And so he goes into the cockpit. He engages in casual conversation with the pilots and then attempts to grab two handles that would have shut down the plane's engine. And it yeah. results in a physical struggle. They have to subdue the guy and zip tie him, take him to the back. Um, so he allegedly tried to pull the f- engine fire suppression controls, which would have turned off the engines at cruising altitude. Uh, so, yeah, he now faces one count of interfering with flight crew members and being held in Oregon jail on 167 charges, including 83 counts of attempted murder. He's awaiting arraignment Tuesday afternoon. And Spirit Airline has offered him a job, though. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. right. That's right. And if the price was the tickets were cheap enough, they would sell out that yeah, flight for sure. I, you know what I, I want to do when he goes to prison? I, I want, I want him just to sit next to someone out on the by the handball court and just go, "What are you in for?" And the guy'd go, "Arson," and he'd go, "Guess why I'm in here? I'll give you one hundred thousand. <laughs> You'd uh, never guess vehicular manslaughter. No, nope. oh. no." Nope. And they would just sit there and go, I'll meet you out here tomorrow at the same time. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you can just keep guessing because you're never going to get to the part where I tried to kill everyone in a commercial flight. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a nut job. Yeah. So he, he goes up to the pilots and he just says, I am not OK. And then reaches for the handles. God. <gasps> wow. It was like a suicide. Yeah. And then I guess. So when, then he, they make him sit in the back. And when he's in the back, he's trying to open the, the, the back door, the engine door. He, he knows all the spots. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, a couple things. Yes. First off, somebody. There was a story where a pilot did this with a commercial flight. And then didn't. It's, it's kind of quiet. I think he may have been Muslim. And he said like Allah Akbar Allah, or whatever yeah. and he pushed that plane wow. down and you can look for it Dawson it's probably 10 years old and it was kind of like what wasn't a good theme with the news you know they yeah. didn't really like it so but they had cockpit recordings of the guy right and this isn't the first time like a pilot has taken down a plane so now this is great. So we got to worry about the fucking drunk chicks fighting in the back of the plane. And now we have to do the ones with the screw the, uh, the loose in the pilot. front of yeah. the plane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, where am I supposed to be on this airplane? People fighting in the back, people trying to kill me in the front. Oh, my God. Yeah, so he's, he's in the jump seat. And even one passenger uh, was quoted saying, I made eye contact with him. It was like one of those soul chilling, dead in the eyes, just calm. And just kind of like he was taking in everyone around him. But accomplished enough to be a commercial airline pilot, which takes a lot. So oh my gosh. something happened along the way. The mental illness crept in. Yeah. yeah. Look, so, everybody, snaps. I don't want you to kill yourself, but if you're going to kill yourself, do not take out a bunch of school kids and then kill yourself or right. commercial flight and then kill it. Just do it. Do it Just quietly. Do it, do it yourself. yourself. Just go ahead Privately and kill in your own home. Yes. You are suffering. I'm in the back. I'm going to San Francisco or leaving San Francisco and going to going to San Francisco. I want to I want to go to Ghirardelli Chocolate yeah. and go see the Golden, Golden Gate, Gate Bridge, Bridge yeah. and uh, eat crab. Like I'm here. I'm enjoying myself. Right. So you're not. I respect that. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Come with me to San Francisco and jump off the fucking bridge. Right. Yeah. I'll yeah. help. Yeah. I'll, I'll give so you a hand. So what you're saying is life is not for everyone. Right. But if it's not for you, don't bring us down with you. Yeah. Right. That, that's it. That's do it. Do not come up and shoot up your former workplace and then kill yourself. And Just kill yourself. What's genius is that he's in there. He's in the cockpit. Do you understand now to get into a cockpit after 9-11 what you have to go through? Because, because I don't know if you fly commercial, but when you fly and the pilot needs to go to the bathroom, they block it with the serving cart. With the serving cart. That is the technology yeah. now of <laughs> yes. saving yeah. us from yeah. dying. It's a science. It's a si- they, <laughs> it's, this- uh, listen, the blocking of the serving cart is right up there with yes. the hanging of the piece of lucite with COVID. Like, you know, there's six inches of airspace right. underneath this right. piece of plastic, Mr. Bank Teller. It's like, right. yeah, this we're stopping the disease. Right. Like, it's so ridiculous. With really a trash can lid? Oh, like a, That's how you're stopping this viral disease? You got like, that from the military, right? Yes, we have a cart. We push the cart. But the card is sort of like the tennis balls on the walker. Like, can someone design 
a, a actual skidless walker, or do we have to put tennis balls on? Or just there? put some kind of a door there? But it, obviously, they, it's not that important. It, it's 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 a it's a it's they, they put the cart there. And, and then and, they, and sometimes it's like it's there. some miserable flight attendant who's like checking her schedule, <laughs> or some queen who's just mm-hmm. <laughs> with his eye blo- with his eyebrows plucked, just like making trying to not make eye contact with everybody, but making eye contact with everybody. Yeah. yeah. And then they stand there. Yeah. Yeah. How that's a power move on the on the part of the pilot. Like if I was the pilot, I'd be like, listen. I got to take a dump and it's going to be a long one. So take that cart, turn it sideways and fucking stand there because it's going to be a while. That's a power move as yeah. a dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Someone just, or I would just do it at home. I just go, look, I'm going to go take a shit. And I would just tell someone, take a serving cart, put it in front of the door and just turn this, this man up. I got extra cash. Yeah. I'm worth it. I like that kind of peace of mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wonder if the I wonder if the pilot insists his wife do that when he gets home. Like a door, some taking a dump. Bring, you bring know the, 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 the car. Bring, bring the, the, the the bar car. Put the front. bar car. <laughs> or front of the turn thing. it sideways and just stand in front of yeah. the door. Because that's what I'm used yeah, to. Yeah, I need it now. I can't shit without it. And yeah. then and then and then tell the kids uh, how, how do they always phrase everything on the plane? I need you to sit down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to ask you to sit down. No, yes. What they do is they go, I'm going to have to go ahead and ask you to sit down right. for me. I don't like for me. So they one put time, for me. No, they the never put for me, but they say, but they, they pray. One time I got it. You know, you can't be funny with these people. Oh, they say for me all the time. So, so they, I need you to, I'm going to need you to sit down. So I, so I, so I turned to her and I go, you realize that's in the, in the future. That's a future t- tense. <laughs> One day, that, yeah. that, That's like, I'm going to need you to sit down after my son's bar mitzvah. Like right. It's, it's in, the, it's in your, your that, it's, not, it's not English, just because you're saying it that way. It's not, it's not English. It's just, you <laughs> idiot. You don't get the four me's. <laughs> the f- flight attendants have the power that they are reeling b- since 9-11 is so insane. Oh, who do you hate more, flight attendants or pandas? Ooh. I mean... I don't, have, I don't have a hate One of them's got to go. Have a hate You're on an me. island. <laughs> Only one can survive. <laughs> it's a flight attendant or a panda yeah. bear. Who do you take? It out? has to be dependent. On the, give me more on the uh, the panda. We know what it is. Give me more on the flight attendant. Bitchy, male, female, male, male. brow yeah. says uh, what I'm going to need you to do for me um, all the time. I'm going to have real to redundant. You. I'm going to have to ask you to sit down. <laughs> Hi, right. can you pick up the? How ugly does a flight oh. attendant have to be? Will you be to... dining with us? Are, are we eating together? Uh, yeah. Will you be dining with us? Yeah. <laughs> are you di- dining? Us? This piece of this miserable piece of fish you threw in front of me. Yeah. Dining. Will you be dining with us? Will you be having dessert with us? It's a lot of it's <laughs> so a lot of much. sugar coating. And yes, I hate the extra talk. Listen, I go nuts on an airplane every time I take a commercial flight, and I'll tell you why. Every single time. They talk about smoking in the bathroom and they go tampering with disabling or destroying the smoke detector. Right. I go, just fucking stop at tampering. You're done. Stop it at tampering. Tampering with the smoke detector is yeah. illegal. Now you're disabling and de- destroying. No, we're just going. We're just uh, coasting I didn't on even realize here. That. Tampering I didn't with realize disabling that. or destroying. Still do it. I will say to you one Or right you can now. use disabling. Just use disabling, but you can't I, use all three. I will tell you one time, I this is uh, way before 9 11, but. If if I had to put an airline together, it would be co- it would be called Shut the Fuck Up Airlines. Yeah, just no speaking. You have to you hit the you know like when that you do the before you check in to get your boarding card that you've I've read all the safety instructions. I was told about the seatbelt. I was told about everything, and there'd be no chatter whatsoever on the flight. It is so miserable. I n- I never forget one time I flew. This is a long time ago. Um, in business class from Israel to to Tel Aviv, um, and we it was in the up, upper part of the plane, and they just turned the PJs off. So the whole flight, you just there were no announcements. They nice. came around to see if you wanted dinner, if you wanted this and that. Just put your seat belt up and close up. And the, no, wow. it was I such. It. I never forgot that. It was just there's no announcements. Those announcements are horrible, horrible. And they come in at. Okay, we're doing this. Let's do it. So you you're. Let's say it's a as a comic. If I'm flying in the day of the show, I'm on the first flight just in case something happens to that flight. You get to the next one. So you woke you, you wake up at five to get to a seven o'clock flight, right? Mm-hmm. You, you need time. You got to put yourself together, shower. Yep. You know, 
uh, and you get there, you're exhausted. You you had a little coffee, but you're on the plane now. Now the, all the announcements, all the sitting down. Can you please? I'm gonna have to, and the plane takes off, and that's the one moment of this like to tranquil. Everybody's relaxed. It's vibrating a little bit. It's a little mm-hmm. good. And then all of a sudden, everybody's, everybody's sleeping at this point. Everybody is sleeping at this point because we've all woken up at some crazy hour to get to this flight. Only one not sleeping or allowed to sleep is flight attendant. Flight attendant. So she now comes on. I want to welcome my brother, gold <laughs> members, medallion, gold fucking platinum, and your 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 blah blah. And I want to welcome this. And if you're not a member of the alliance, well, here's a fucking form to be a member of the alliance. What the shut up? Give us like 10, 15 more minutes to sleep and then hit us with all your horrible announcements. Right. So horrible. Not sure what that was worth my well, tangent, but yeah. That's good. I, okay. no, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. They're, it's, it's, it's decibly, audibly. You, you, you're it's doing, too, you, it's are too you loud. Doing, are you doing, are you doing shows still? Yeah. Yes. So you're flying around. Are you flying on private? I'm, I'm or? flying now. I fly, fly regular. commercial all the time. Okay. Yeah. All, yeah. all the time. Yeah. And whenever I hear tampering with disabling or destroying, I go no. That's what kills you. <laughs> like why? Me, it's, me, it's the it's that first announcement after we've taken off. Just give us twenty more minutes to sleep. Yes, Just no, I agree. Give us twenty more minutes. That's my. Mission. There's a yeah. version of that that's that's bad, too. What? There is a version of what you're asking for, which is negative, which is if you fly in a first class flight. Yes. You get a first class ticket. Yep. But you leave at night. And you're sitting there, and they do the thing where they just go, I'm going to shut the lights, here's the blanket, I'm going over here to read a magazine. And you're like, hey, bitch, I got a first-class ticket. I want some cocktails. I want some food. Oh, they like, give I it do. to you. They give it to you. No, they'll give it, but they'll do a shut the light, here's a blanket, I'm play splitting some yeah. kind no, of move. Absolutely I, they do. On maybe late, I'm not on, flying. On night flights, they I do I have it. done. My, my, I'm, I have two gigs in L.A. and then Vegas, so we, we're staying for the week. But me, if I have a gig in L.A., it's I come in first flight, do the show, hotel, nap, gym maybe, mm-hmm. and then... Do the show and then the the um, the, the 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 red eye out. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna sleep in my hotel room, so I'm gonna. I might as well just take it out. Red eyes are the craziest. The, the, the people look so disheveled and a mess. They look they look a horror show. I don't even know what the red eye is anymore. You mean back to New York? Back to New York, or I had a really wow, an ugly crowd on a on a on an. I had, I had a gig in L.A. and then I had a gig in Chicago. So mm-hmm. we took the red eye to Chicago. It's like only four, four hours or something like that, like three hours. Everyone looked messed up. It was on a United flight. Mm. It's, um, it was a United flight, an old plane, like one of those old nasty bus. It's like a bus that that flies. <laughs> it was just one of those gnarly like planes. an Airbus. And even though you bought it first, even though you have, you have a business class ticket, right? It's still a shit seat, and it barely goes back half an inch. Yeah. And this pilot comes out. Look at the, I'm not making this up. This pilot comes out and he's strapping black man. You really? can tell he played football. He's mm-hmm. like six foot four, had a ring with like whatever school went he college. went to. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Look at sport type. Well, of he a played thing. in college. And, yeah, you know, and he spoke like this, and he came out and, and he spoke to the people in business class, which is four or five rows of two seats. It's a shit plane. It's not like a nice plane with the pods and they're all facing different directions. It's a shit plane. He comes out. Well, it's. Um, just want to let you guys know that we're going to be taking off on this night on this flight, and, and there what? There might be turbulence. And is anybody nervous about the turbulence? He's asking. He's doing this like a little <laughs> seminar, and we're yeah. in shock. Right. I just want to hit my Xanax and a little and 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 be out. And he's doing this whole thing, and then goes, and then he says, "Well, since this is a night operation." A night operation. See special forces. <laughs> I said to him, "You're flying a bus to Chicago, is what you're doing. Night operation." And he goes, "And I've flown in military operations, ah. which, and even then." And he goes, "The wingspan. You know, the wingspan has twenty feet. It can go through so the turbulence, and and will never be more than five feet." And he, what are you doing? That is crazy. Get in that cockpit and shut your face. Yeah, Th- that happened. That was horrible. Well, it's that plus red like eyes. the flight, the flight eyes. attendant saying for me, it's just all it's all narcissistic. It's for just me. they're bringing it to them. I I com- I completely agree. I was at the airport once and I was in security, and the guy goes, uh, "Could you go ahead and turn around for me, okay?" 
And I'm like, I started to turn around. He goes, real quick. I'm like, how much longer do you think turning around? <laughs> By the way, if I did it real quick, you'd tackle me. If right. I literally right. jumped up and swung around, <laughs> yep. you'd fucking taser my ass. I'm, I'm starting to turn, and he goes, real quick. Like It's yeah. like, it's like you saying to somebody, left. could you stand up off the sofa? And you start to stand up, and they go, real quick? Like, no. I'm already in the process yeah. of this thing you he, asked me to do. You're in motion. He's saying, like, he, he's, I know what he's trying to say is that it's going to be a real quick thing for, 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 you, for me to, to check you after you've gone through that. Now, that, that, I'm yeah. telling you, there's something <laughs> called extra cop talk that I try to tell people yes. around. Cops talk extra because they don't want you talking. So when they pull you over, they go, okay, what I need you to do for me, okay, right now, just go ahead and give me your license and registration for me real quick, okay, right now. Now, the reason I pulled you over, okay, right now, is because I'm going to go ahead and ask you to produce proof of insurance, license, and registration, okay, right now. And I've talked to cops, and they go, we do do extra talking because it stops people from talking. Back going, to what, them. what the fuck? Come on. You're not leaving, you're not giving them a space. No one's yeah. robbing a bank. And yeah. now this, they, they leave you no, no opening. <laughs> do you have, Dawson, do you ever find that story? There's a lot of these stories out there. Can you give me anything else more it, specific? Probably international. Not Germany, not, maybe? Could be. A pilot, maybe Muslim, and took the flight down. And and it wasn't like a mechanical error or something. They there was uh, some controversy. They didn't get to the bottom of it, but he but basically was, the, the smart think, money is I, they took him down. I think this was uh, all at a time right after nine eleven, where little crazy things were happening, like the guy, the shoe bomber. Uh-huh. This is all in that whole genre, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if that shoe bomber guy is still alive, every American should be able to visit him in prison and hit him once over the head with a fucking shoe and say, thanks for making me take my fucking shoes off at the airport for the rest of my life, you that's asshole. A vi- that's a victory that they have. That's a victory that, that, that you know, the world it has the positive energy of the world and the negative energy of the world. And the s- Satan, Satan is how they call it in the Jewish the, the theology and and the, and it, it has to have wins the, and the negative force of the world has to have wins and taking your shoes off and taking your 3.5 ounces those are wins oh. that, that 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 the yes. negative part of the world has that it's their win yes 3.5 like the fact that i'm sitting in my bathroom going is this toothpaste way too much so insane they've won they won and, and the and the real victory is when you'd have the toothpaste and it would say five ounces on the on the toothpaste, it's but the empty. toothpaste was three quarters empty, and yep. you'd go, "It's empty." It's like you still have to throw it away, sir. It's like, oh, they won. They, they won. won. They won. They won. They won. We're having they... an incredibly insane conversation, and they just don't know how to. The the, the, the TSA doesn't doesn't know how to just just vibe check, just vibe check a person a little bit, a little more vibe checky, yeah, rather than just you know, anything. oh. <laughs> yes, just, just so I think they do that in Israel, don't they? Do Israel's more pro- very, they profile. Very, they they look at you. They know your body language. They can talk to you. And like right. when Leo and I check in or out for a flight to Israel, and the security is Israeli, they look at us. Right. So I'm older than him. His last name is Vega. My mm. last name is Rosenfeld. And mm. like, and how are you together? And I said, mm. well, we're, we're married. And you 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 live together. I said, yes, we do live together. Can you prove that? And we both show our driver's license, mm-hmm. which is which is good. Right. I'm glad that they're checking. You ever bring a hot chick back to the house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Like if you're clubbing, you mean a really hot piece of ass. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, horny TSA. They check, you, right? they like, check you. They check. They like, but they 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 feel you out. Like, hey, when was the last time in Israel? They, they they feel it out. The TSA yes. here is just like robotic. I'm gonna need you to take your shoes off and put all your bags in the bins. All bags have to go in the bins. Oh, take yeah. your laptop. That's out of my the dip least the favorite. Da, da, da. My least favorite is when they took away the bowl. And now you have to stuff everything in your backpack. And then I always shove something in the wrong compartment. And then I'm like, where are my sunglasses? Oh, shit. I left my sun. No, I have 34 other pouch. Now I got to go through every fucking pouch in the backpack because this guy forced. And it's like, all I want is the bowl. I'll put the keys and the sunglasses in the bowl. No bowl in a lot of places. Other places, everything's got to go in the big tray. The big bin. Yeah. The big bin. I used to, by the way, a hobby I used to have was the um, uh, the change on the floor. <laughs> there used to be 
a lot of change on the floor <laughs> mm-hmm. in the in the TSA when you crossed over to the other side after right. you went came up and I would pick up sometimes like like four or five quarters and whatever and this and that and then I realized that they, they told me that in the the TSA themselves, they picked up in all the TSAs of all America, uh, it was an average of 87,000 a year that they picked up in, in change. Right. Could you imagine? And um, that's for something that, that's ended now because of... Um, uh, because because there's no more bold because it, they can make you put it in that major thing anyway. I don't think people carry change anymore. No, there's no cash anymore. No one carries cash. Millennials well, maybe a little cash. Yeah, a little cash. Millennials, no. But change? Yeah. I don't even want change. Change is a burden now. It's a burden, yeah. In Europe, it's the worst. You have those little, like a real money in like a coin. It's horrible. It's a burden because you don't know what to do with it. You don't want it, but you can't throw it away. Because that, that's against, uh, that's energy. You throw, you're throwing away energy. Yeah. Also, you grow up the way I grew up, like you know, having, hey, Dad, can I have a quarter for the ice cream? A quarter? A quarter? Do you know how much that is? It's like, I, now I can't do it. So I just piles up in my car. In the cup holder, because I don't know what to do no, with it. No, a charity box. Have a charity box at home. Look, look, find whatever your church or whatever organization you believe in, and get a box for them, and just put it all in there, and then put in a bag and give it to them once in a while. Do you have that? Yeah, that's what oh, we you do. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you steal all the change from the airport and put it in the charity box. I no, but I will never walk by a penny or a dime on the floor and not pick it up. You gays. I mean, Jews. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's m- money is energy. Money is energy, and if you see it there, just don't avoid that energy. Pick up, pick up that penny. Pick up the uh, the the dime. I don't agree. That. Yeah, don't ever. All right, leave. we got another one. And Doss can't find that story, huh? Well, here's what I have: the co-pilot on this one flight. The flight data recorder shows that the co-pilot seemed to have rehearsed his suicide mission during an earlier flight. Uh, he repeatedly set the plane's altitude dial to just 100 feet with it while the captain was briefly out of the cockpit. Something like that. Yeah, I think, I, well, the plane crashed. Did this plane crash? Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Where's the crash? He locked the, ca- the captain out of the cockpit before yeah. crashing the plane into a mountain. Uh, That's John France. Denver. <laughs> yeah, John Denver died in experimental flight. This was in France. Yeah, that could be it. Any religious stuff? Anyway, no, he was All German. Right. Okay, they're right. they don't right. they don't believe in God. Way to commit to it. Way, way to come out of. The, don't worry about it. But you committed to it. Good for you. Uh, there's a storm thing, but it does. It has happened that a guy intentionally crashed a plane. Yeah, and killed himself as a as a pilot. So we got that to think about. When you fly next. Me uh, on, on Friday. I'm flying Friday too, so we can think about that. Uh, to, 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 to Vegas. Together, yeah. Yeah. To Vegas. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, so in Italy, the, their prime minister, Georgia Maloney. Yeah. So she just split from her partner, boyfriend, Andrea Giumbruno. Oh, a, you'd a, like this yeah. dude. Oh, wow. He's a TV journalist, uh, but he was caught making some uh, embarrassing sexist comments. Uh, there's some off air recordings that emerged. Um, so one of them it is uh, he asks, well, he complains about the criticisms of his hairstyle before telling his female colleagues, why didn't I meet you before? Um, and then he started telling a female colleague that they need another participant on the show. Let's have a threesome, even a foursome. He's encouraging group sex with his female colleagues. Um, you know, and they're like, aren't you, aren't you with the prime minister? It's like, yeah, it's cool. It's yeah, cool. he he looks, I mean, he's good looking, but he's he, hot as hell. Those of you who are lonely, listen to this, he is super hot. Well, yeah, this his, is hair, his hair is good giving. Looking dude. His eyes are gorgeous. He's had buckle fat removal from his cheeks. You can tell that's a procedure. What do they call it? Buckle fat. Inside your cheeks is like a little packet of fat, and you can mm-hmm. have that removed. It gives you. Oh, a, that's like a new thing, right? Yeah, Everyone removes not so that. new, but yeah. But like, and he's, he's killing it with his tuxedo, and she's. So that, that's the prime minister of Italy. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Good for wow. her. Well, good, I for mean, her. Well, good for him and they, her. Well, they broke you'd up. You'd start, you'd do a foursome with them, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? In a minute. In a, yeah. in a hot in a, minute. In a hot minute. He should have been texting you. because Yeah. Yeah, he got caught. They say you get rid of that buckle fat and you go down on a woman even longer. <laughs> yeah. You know that? Some, yeah, you got some pockets it's for suction. It's documented. You can mm-hmm. breathe better. It's scientific. <laughs> That's why I get rid oh, of that yeah. buckle fat. What is she wearing? Oh, my God. Oh, are you really into fashion? That's horrible. What is that? Is that a coat? I mean, this is Italy. This is Can, go, go to images of this woman, please. And let's just see. <laughs> I want to see what she's wearing. 
All right, okay. Yeah. So he well, was, anyway, he so was they, like a uh, side piece, though, right? I mean, she had to know what she was getting into. Right. Well, they so they were they were together for almost ten years. Mm-hmm. So she announced that their relationship's over. They have a seven year old daughter. Oh wow. Oh. Yeah. So all of this is in the press, and she just says, like, "Look, the greatest thing." Um, that happened out of this was our beautiful daughter. Oh, but you have to say that. Yeah, <laughs> that's very nice. That's yeah, very good. I wish them the best. Yeah, but I don't know. I think we do with Italians. We had we give them a little cultural pass, like we. Eh, yeah, it's, it, he's Italian. Another that's line like, is uh, he said, "Can I touch?" He talked to a woman. He's like, "Can I touch my balls while talking to you?" And then her, <laughs> and then her audio is, "You already are." <laughs> <laughs> that's. <laughs> I'm gonna tell that. To my daughter, I'm mean, like, if a guy asks to touch his balls, he's probably already touched yeah, his yeah. balls. Yeah. You can just safely assume that his hands are down there. God. Yeah, he answered that question some time ago That's himself. So funny. But yeah, he's looking. He says first he's looking for a threesome, but he's like, you know, I'm open to foursomes too. So yeah, so yeah. there you go. Just wants the the group sex there, but yeah, Italian prime minister. So she's she's been in the news because she's very, uh, according to the Guardian, far right. Mm. Yes, she she's, is. She's I was like, told that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very, she's far she's right. A, she's so a maybe it's some. Yeah, she has no gaze in her life. Look at she's dressed. There's nobody gay in her life telling her what to wear. <laughs> we all need it. She she's needs gay you. in the life. She, yeah, I want to tell you something. I'm not kidding about this, but you can judge the quality of a woman by the gaze she keeps. Oh. We we did a man show bit once where you called rent a gay or something <laughs> where you could get a gay to be with your with your wife. wife yeah, yeah. Do, does your wife have you, you're married right i'm just getting divorced but just getting yeah. divorced okay does your soon-to-be ex-wife does she have g- gays in her life uh, i don't think no, some but maybe not my enough. wife doesn't That's have a good any thing either. you're getting divorced yeah. where's a good place to find some good gays it, see, a, a good woman will make sure she finds good gays, good high quality gays, not like some screaming Nelly Queen. Oh my God, you're so amazing! I love it. As you going down, we should go see the concert together. Well, like a good gay, like a good, like me. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm someone's gay. I'm. I have a friend, D- D- Dina. She's maybe my friend for thirty years. Like we, she always has good gays around her, top shelf gays. I, I would love to introduce yeah. my wife to I you and Leo, but I'm, I'm a little worried now. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we wouldn't. That was, <laughs> oh, they say they wouldn't. I know. I've heard stories. Uh, let's see. Let's do another another. Is it called Rent a Gay? What I think that's that? that's right. That sounds familiar. And show bit. Gets ahead of your time. I'm sure. That wasn't yeah. San Hope, no. But you're right. We need everyone should have everyone should know a lawyer. They should know a doctor, and they should have a good top shelf gay. Top yep. That's it. I'm top gonna share lawyer. that with my kids when I get home. Mm-hmm. That's very it's so good. true. I know I know Mark Garagos, I know Dr. Drew. I can't tell you how many times a week, I'll call Mark Garris and go, hey, what's going on with this? Or explain to me legally, you know, this, this yeah, or yeah. that, you know? And then I'll do it with Dr. Drew all the time. Yeah. Like a good lawyer, a good doctor, and a good gay. That's true. And you're you're covered. All right. We got, we got another yeah. one. Did you have the bit? Uh, oh, the TV went out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. So Chinese authorities are investigating after a viral video appeared to show a worker from Tsingtao, which is their big beer company, urinating into a tank uh, believed to contain ingredients for its popular beer. It's received tens of millions of views on social media already. Mm-hmm. So the company said alerted police after the video came to attention. So yeah, Tsingtao is one of China's top beer producers and biggest exporter. And in the clip, a worker dressed in uniform with a helmet on can be seen climbing over a high wall and into the container and just urinates right into it. Um, well, I got thoughts. One is they'll fuck you up in China for almost nothing. Yeah, if, imagine this, this. This guy's going to be in a gulag for a while. <laughs> yeah, if, if not killed or something. Number one. Number two. He's affecting their economy now. I don't know how big that tank is, but yeah. uh, there's a picture. I'll a little, you know, if it's if it's more than 500 gallons, it ain't going to affect the batch. I'd still drink it. And also, for some reason, I don't know why. I'm more tolerant of Chinese urine than I am of like Armenian urine. <laughs> just, I, just off the top of my head, if I'm being honest. So he jumps. He jumps up. Watching the video now. Is he so standing he, in beer, or is he standing in like hops? Like, or like hops. Or they, it, they said it's ingredients. So. Oh, okay. Oh, and one uh, of the ingredients yeah, of so. it. That's fine. I, I bet you he, he did it just that up, to, right? <laughs> 
I bet you he did it just to not not be mean and malicious. He, he probably just did not didn't know there was a camera there and just he had to pee. Yeah, I'm always on the side of the urinator. <laughs> you always That's take their no, side. He's I take knee their side. Deep. The what, what, whatever he's in, he's knee deep in. He's in like what looks like the size of a pool. Yeah, and yeah. he's knee deep in there, and he whips it out, and he's gonna pee. And, um, and and I took a pee in the freezer of the McDonald's when I worked there when I was sixteen. You worked at McDonald's? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't okay. pee on the food, but I was like, I'm making a statement. Yeah. I don't like I this place. This does, and yeah. I want to see what happens yeah. when I hit the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it because I was my, it was my own, you know form of protest for getting two dollars and forty cents an hour. Jeez. Having a mean manager named Ken. Yeah. So I guess shares. Uh, you were you worked Wall Street, right? Yes. Yeah. So shares at the brewery fell sharply when uh, the stock exchange opened this week. Yeah, they're starting to level off, but yeah, people really. Upset I thought about you this. said share. He did say the, share a couple oh, of times, and I thought you were talking I, about share too. Share the single. Share like, was really upset too. And then he turns to me and goes, "You're a faggot." He was like, "You used to be in Wall Street." I'm like, "Okay." So I, I didn't know. What he had. <laughs> <laughs> yes, share. You've we, seen Wall Street. <laughs> I know Charlie more about Sheen. Sheen than would you I blow would about him? any stock. He's hot, right? What? You've seen Wall Street. Would you blow Charlie Sheen? He would, back then, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. what Chris was saying. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. he was Good asking. Time. Thank you yeah, yeah. for yeah. that information. Cher is... Um, she's going to leave. She's going to leave the, the country. If Trump gets reelected. But everyone always says that, and they never leave. Where are you and going? I think it should be Where, and who the hell wants you? By the way, you can't say I'm going to Canada. Canada's like you can't just move to Canada. Yes, I know. You, it's not people. Oh, I'm going to move to Canada. They don't want you. Yeah, you right. have to go through a lot of things before you move to Canada. You can't just declare. Yeah, I'm, de- I live I'm in Canada moving now. to Canada. Yeah, it's not anyway. Yeah, they never <laughs> say where they're you going. You think he's going to be reelected for real? He's he 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 put his thing in yesterday. He's. Out polling Biden right now in some polls, but then he's got a lot of legal hurdles as well. But then who knows if you know? We don't. We don't know at this point if Michelle Obama's going to pop up or some I some some crazy wild card. I mean, it'll be fun and sad all at the all, all at the, the same, same time. time. Yep. 